Let's talk about communication in ENTJs. ENTJs are frank, decisive, and they assume leadership readily. They quickly see the illogical and inefficient policies and procedures. They develop comprehensive systems to deal with organizational problems. They're usually well informed and well read and enjoy expanding their knowledge base and passing that along to others. They can be forceful in implementing their plans and have a penchant for challenging authority. In communication, ENTJs tend to direct and control rather than encourage and motivate. They enjoy uh, discussions and debating ideas and they can be quite competitive. They enjoy demonstrating their, their knowledge and their competency. They get impatient if they have to take extra time to explain their rationale on things. Um, when they initiate action, they do it with a problem-solving focus. They tend to question and critique rather than encourage and praise, and they ra rarely ever leave anything status quo, believing that everything can be approved upon. Here's some communication tips when dealing with an ENTJ. Establish respect and rapport by demonstrating your competence. Don't get them bogged down with too many details. Instead, focus on the long-term strategic planning. Give them the autonomy to make and implement their decisions. Don't be intimidated or take things too personally with ENTJs. And don't take too long making your decision or frequently changing your mind. Be prepared to offer rationale for the decision making that you do make and don't micromanage ENTJs. So these are some communication tips in dealing with ENTJs.